Hey guys, it's been a while. It's been a full year since I did like a face-to-face -face video. How you guys doing? Uh, a lot of people say that I play a character on my video games. Uh, I guess. I mean, I'm definitely not that hyper in real life. So I guess you can say it's a, um, a character, I guess. But uh, this is real life Chris. How about that, guys? How, do you guys want to see like real stuff like that? I mean... I'm definitely not that hyper in real life, guys. Like, I see people, like, commenting, like, dude, he's like a fucking man child. I'm thinking, like, wow. Only if you knew me in real life, I'm very shy. Very shy. I'm awkward. Um, I mean, I'm easy to get along with, but it's, like, I'm also not easy to get along. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, yeah, like I said, it's been a year. This video may be 40 minutes long. Because we are going to do some recaps of, I wrote some stuff down, so don't judge me. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of 2017, because stuff that happened in 2017 definitely led a big part of 2018 in my life. And that's when I was mm, depressed. I guess, I, I, ah, God. Bro, depressed runs big in my family. It is very, it's, I don't know. I don't like talking about because I get emotional. Uh, but a, a lot of you guys are going to see the real me. And I'm going to talk about the real me. So it's not the character that puts on in the games. That's all hyper and stuff. This is the real Chris. Um, and 2018 was kind of the worst year of my life. Like, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. It, it, it sucked really bad. Um, okay, let's talk about uh, 20. Uh, we're going to talk about 2019. Uh, 2019. Well, 2019, we're definitely going to talk about that. But that's going to be later in the video. Because I feel like most of this video is going to be talking about 2017, 2018, and how bad it was. For me, anyways. I hope you guys had an awesome 2017, 18. Okay, um, well, what really started it was, um, actually, this kind of leads back in 2015, actually. Okay, I lost, uh, my great-grandpa. He was, he played a big part of my life. Uh, he used to babysit me, watch me, and we used to get along. And then he died. He died on our. He died a day after our birthday. He was He he didn't make it on our birthday. So. So he. So he um he was gonna come a day after. So we were waiting on him at a party thing that someone threw me and my sister because you know I, I'm a twin so it happens. <laughs> and um, we got that phone call. Because we were waiting for my grandpa this whole time. We didn't want to eat cake. We didn't want to do anything without him being there. Um, then we get a phone call from my mom's brother, my uncle, um, saying grandpa has passed out in his chair and he, haven't, and he hasn't woke up since yesterday. Because um, my uncle was watching him. Cause he's that type of grandpa that you have to have someone there watching him in case something happens and he um we think he wasn't taking his medication that he was supposed to take because there was an open bottle beside his bed he was definitely not the type to overdose on things no he was against that so we know it wasn't an overdose uh i think he was going for his pills that he hasn't taken in like maybe a week. And uh, he passed away. And oh my god. That hit me like a bolt of lightning when I heard that. I was like. I cried. I, I cried a lot. I cried more than uh, most of my family there. Because uh, I was very close with him. Uh, he was in the. Not my main channel. But the channel before that. The, before I got taken down. He was in a lot of videos. So it's like. A lot of you guys know him too. That's uh, been with me since. Oh, 09. I've been on YouTube for 10 freaking years. That's crazy. Um, but, um, yeah, it was very hard for me to take. Uh, I left the party. I didn't want to stay. Everyone else stayed and had fun, but I wasn't about it. So I went to my house and just locked my bedroom door and just thought about all the memories I had with him. And what really hit me the most is I had to bury him uh, with me and my other cousins. So it's like... Oh god, it was crazy. Um, and then 16, huh, it was okay, but it's still that memory. And then 17 came. Oh my god. 17, uh, I found a love of my life, you know, Faith. A lot of you guys know her. Um, we were together for so long. I, I think it was like two years. Three years, maybe. I don't really remember. Um, but... 
uh, you know, we actually fell in love really quick. We had a lot in common at the time. And then, um, and then why we were dating, we, boyfriend and girlfriends, they're going to have fighting moments. They're going to have like moments. They're not going to uh, agree with each other. Um, I don't think it's healthy if you guys, if no one, there's not a little bit of argument in a relationship. Is that weird for me? Or is that like something that you call perfect? I don't really know. Uh, but, um, and that happened just fast forward, uh, like a year or two later, my brother-in-law, God, me and him were so close. We loved all the Avenger movies. We loved the Minecraft. We, we had a lot in common. We, we used, that used to be our thing. We would sit at the dinner, the dinner table, uh, after he got off of work and we would play Minecraft together. He was in a couple of videos on the old channel. Um, and then... My sister called. My older sister. Uh, we got a call that he had cancer. I couldn't tell you what cancer though, because that's not what I really, I didn't really ask. I just heard cancer and I was like, like, oh my gosh, I felt like my life was crashing down on me. Um, and, uh, Um, guys, I'm gonna get emotional. I, I, well, this is what you guys wanted, uh, but um, and then uh, I dro I dropped everything. I went to their house. Well, no, they were in the hospital. I went. To, well, first I went to their house because I didn't know they were in the hospital yet. Um, and then I was banging on the door. No one would answer. And then I was thinking the worst. I was like, oh my god, he died. Guys, apparently he's had cancer for a while now. We thought he... Well, the funny thing... Not funny, but... He always told us that if he was gonna die... It was gonna be to cancer. So that made me think... Me and my family think... Did he know he had cancer? We don't know. I don't want to get into that because I'm just... Ugh, I mean, I already feel the tears coming. But, um... He, um... Uh... And then... He had a week to live. So, it, it was really hard for me and my family to hear that. Because he was awesome, dude. He was always at our activities. Everything. He was always there at a family gallery. Like, he was, like, my brother. I mean, brother-in-law. But he was, like, more than a... I hate to say this, but he was more as a brother than my real brother was. So, it's like, we were really close. Um, And, uh, well, we heard the news that he had a week to live. And uh, everyone broke down, like, you know. Like, cause we're losing a family member. Um, <laughs> what really hit me was when he knew he was dying. I mean, he just didn't want to accept it, but he knew. And he's like, Chris, oh my God, his voice sounded very different. He looked very different. Every time I looked at him, I just started crying. And then he's like, Chris, since I was dying... <laughs> Since, since I since I'm no longer gonna be here within a week, do you want to watch all the aliens versus predators with me? He asked me, and I was like, yeah, "Sure, man, definitely." And and then that date that we picked, I got a, a waiting. I was waiting for him. I was getting ready, I got the popcorn out and everything, and. I got a call that he, that he died, that he passed, and that I, I lost it. I straight up lost it. Like, I was like, well, of course, I mean, obviously, my first thought was like, why guy, why God, why'd you take him from me? Why'd you take us from the family, his kids, his wife? But then it took me a week. Oh, by the way, let me, let me first off and say, that got me really fucking depressed. Like, straight up. Like, I was, it was, it was not good. <laughs> it was bad. And then, and then, nowadays, I'm just hearing his kids, my niece and nephew, like, oh, I miss daddy and stuff. And it's just, it breaks my freaking heart, because it's, <sighs> it's, it, it really sucks, like, I miss him so much. 
Sorry guys, I wasn't meaning for this to be like one of those videos that, you know, people cry and shit. But dude, like talking about like death to me, is it, it really makes my heart like turn inside out. Uh, but then, let's go back to the faith thing. Like I said, three years. With, I should have said this before about the, before he passed and stuff. But um, he, you know, it was his last night. I mean, we didn't know it was his last night either. Like, we didn't know. We just wanted to visit him and say, hey, and stuff. And then Faith called me, like, yelling at me, saying, dude, you said we were going to hang out. Like, and I was like, uh, first off, I'm paying attention to my brother-in-law. He has cancer, and he's legit going to die any moment now. And you're being a cunt right now. <laughs> like, I said that. Like, I don't usually call girls that. But it's like, she was being one. And then... She swears up and down. That's not why she broke up with me. But I swear that's what it is. And then I haven't talked to her till then, since then. Because it's like she broke up with me because I picked to spend the last moments of my brother-in-law than spend it with her. It, it, it just amazes me how people act like that. It's It really, I don't know. I really hated life after that. Let me just first off and say that I really... I really hated life. I really did. Um, isn't I didn't hate life to the fact that I wanted to, you know, harm myself, but I just hated the fact that everyone was so freaking happy. Like a lot of people, a lot of people know about what depression is. I mean, I'm not saying you guys have it or anything, but it's like I'm sure one, everyone has it at least like a depression stage at least once. I mean, it, mine has been happening since 2015. So, um. And then after losing my girlfriend and the, my brother-in-law, I lost my job, so I couldn't afford anything. Oh, by the way, I was moving, me and my friend Justin, my homie, my best friend, we moved into an apartment together. It lasted about almost uh, almost eight months. <laughs> Not eight months, I think it was like close to a year, but uh, I lost my job and I couldn't help afford rent with him because we were splitting every bill out there and it was working very good. And then I lost my job, and I just got, I, I really gotten lazy because of, like, losing my brother-in-law and, lo and, like, losing you know, girlfriend and stuff. And, um, we both had to move back with our parents, hence why I'm still here to, at my parents' house. Uh, I do plan on leaving in 2019, moving out, don't know when. Hopefully, it goes good. If not, I can see myself being here for the rest of my fucking life, I don't know. Um, yeah, I lost my uh, job and stuff, and then... I'm always fighting with my parents, not now, we're cool now, but I'm just talking about like in 2018, like after, or leading into 2018, uh, I was fighting with my family because of the job situation, I couldn't afford anything, um, I kept looking for jobs, putting apps out there, no one was fucking hiring, by the way, I have a job now, so we're all good now, but, um, uh, and I was always getting in fights with my friends, like half of my friends, well, it wasn't me starting the fight. It was them being fake. Hence why the song on DJ Nobody is Fake Friends. That that was the reason. Um, and comes in 2018, uh, literally right before Thanksgiving of this year. Um, my best friend, Justin Rodman. Uh, a lot of you guys know about him. Uh, we used to do Instagram lives and Instagram videos uh, for you guys when we were together. Because you guys love, you guys enjoyed us being together and you guys thought it was funny and stuff. So we kept it going. And, um... Um... Then... He was hanging with his friends. I, I lit... I was working at the time, so I, I couldn't hang out with them. And uh, I was supposed to hang out with them. Let me let me first say that before I tell you what really what happened and stuff. This fucking retard. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna say retard. One of his friends. I didn't like the kid. I hated him. I, I wish he was never a thing. Okay, I I can't say that, but uh, I I didn't like him. Um. He was playing. With a fucking loaded gun. And. And then shot him. 
accidentally shot my friend, my best friend, in the chest. And hearing what happens after that is he legit walk, stood up and started running down the stairs and then and then died outside. After hearing, oh my god, like, after hearing that, my heart fucking exploded. He was my best friend. He was the only guy that I can go to and talk about my problems and issues, and he would actually help me. And then hearing that he got shot really <laughs> it took me to a dark place I wanted to find that son of a bitch that shot him and and you know you know uh but and then some it took hard convincing to say it was on accident but first off why would you play with a fucking loaded gun anyway do guys do not play with guns do not play with guns please don't um, and then, um, and then a couple, and then like, like a week after he passed, the funeral came along. Oh my God. Or the viewing, the viewing. Uh, I went to the viewing and then the funeral, the viewing. Oh my God, bro. I couldn't look anyone. I couldn't look at any of his family members in the face because it was like, wow. Um, and then, uh, Right after his mom, guys, we were really close with Justin's family, my family. We were like family. And right after his mom, Jeannie, hugged me, oh my god, I fucking lost it. I was like, oh my god. Started bawling. Um, it was crazy. And then I didn't go to his casket until like maybe like a couple minutes before we left because I, I wasn't ready to say goodbye. I wasn't ready for it. Like, I, it was very, it was a lot to take in. And I sat in the back of the church that we were in, New Hope, that was his church. Well, my church too, but then I left. But, and then my dad's like, oh, let's go say goodbye to Jeannie and them. I wasn't even going to look at the casket. I, I know it sounds bad, but I really, I did though. Jeannie is like, here, come here. And I was like, oh God. He's like, you ready? She grabbed me and she put her arm around me. And then we walked up to Justin's casket and oh my God, just by looking at him. I didn't look at him. At, wait, hold on. I didn't look at him. And then he, she's like, look at him. Chris, look at it. And then I looked at, tears went down my face. It was so bad. And then he's like, he was, he's happy now. He's in a better place. He, he wasn't happy here. And that broke my heart when she said, he wasn't really happy here. It, it, he was not. It, I couldn't explain because I didn't know what was going on in his head. Uh, but he's in a better place now. Uh, rip to Justin Robin. God, I miss that kid. <laughs> um... I really do. Uh, we've been friends uh, since he was five. So I was friends with him for like. Okay, I'm not good at the math. Don't judge me. Uh, I was I was friends with him since he was four. And he died when he was 18. So you guys do the math for me. And plus, I don't want to count with my fingers. I feel like a loser. Um, and it, it, it was bad. Um, and then the funeral came. I had to bury him too. Oh my gosh, I was not ready. Like, me, Elijah, our other friend, um, Nick, his brother, the guy that shot him had to be there. No, he proved me wrong. Uh, I wasn't thinking any of his friends was going to be there. But a lot of them proved me wrong. They went, they showed their respects and stuff. Um... I got to meet some of his friends that have been wanting to meet me, but I didn't want to. <laughs> but uh, they're pretty chill. Um, uh, and then we went to the cemetery, and st or the bury, the bury ground, or whatever whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. Um, and then we buried him, and then that was the end. I went...
I haven't seen him since he's been buried, and I feel like a shitty friend. Uh, but I'm gonna probably see him this week and stuff, put like flowers and stuff at his grave, you know, do something to show like, you're still my best friend, he's still my best friend even in death, a lot of you guys seen that post on Instagram, a lot of you guys were like, saying I'm sorry for your loss and stuff, and shout out to all the people that showed their support towards me, cause it was, oh, wow, it was, it was something, um, well that really clears up the 2018, the rest was pretty good I guess, I mean, but besides the cup, like two months, out of the whole 2018 sucked. I mean, besides two months. I mean, oh, cool GG to that. Oh, but that was... 2018 was the worst year for me, in my opinion. Because everything that was happened in 2017 leaded in 2018. It was so bad. Uh, so... Okay. Let's talk about the real reason for this video. The 2019 and what we're gonna do. First, I need to get a new chair because this is squeaky as hell. Like, like, come on now. <laughs> but um, 2019 is going to be the year of the flame. Now, a lot of YouTubers have said this. And like either last year's thing or this year is because YouTube has been sucking big time. The Adpocalypse the uh, the subscriber purge I lost about 30 like 30 subscribers in that but I think I gained all back unless they're just new subscribers I don't know uh, the views have been down terribly terribly terrible that's definitely not a I don't know I said it wrong I, I don't know <laughs> um views have been out of the option I mean I've been getting good views recently um, so GG to that. Well, hopefully it's 2019 is gonna be awesome. But guys, the top link, no, the second link, we have this, this YouTuber made him and this guy named Brian McJoggernuggets, you, some of you know him, is there's an app called Storyfire and you can tell stories. You can do videos here. Story fire. Okay, let me put this back. Um, story fire, and it's gonna be lit. Get it? Fire? Story fire lit? No, I'll stop. <laughs> um, yeah. So this could be the next YouTube, but better, better monetize. You don't have to have a certain subscribers to be monetized. You can get good views, likes, subscribers, followers, anything. I'm definitely signing up for this, <laughs> like definitely. So I think you guys should too, if you guys are creators like the rest of us. Storyfire link in the description. I'm gonna push it out for McJuggernuggets to get this to the number one app, YouTube. We, I will always love you, but you're shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Um, I would go like a relapse on my not last year, but the yeah last. No, I didn't do one last year, did I? The year before, like what I did or didn't. I said I was gonna do vlogs, failed. Challenges failed. Gaming, yes. <laughs> like, that's like the only thing I've done. That's like the only thing I did was the gaming. Oh, and guys, hold on. Okay, uh, we got Madden, Black Ops 3, WWE 2K19. Uh, that's only three games a lot of people give me an option to buy. But when I bought Madden, I was like, you guys ready for some gameplay? And everyone's like, no. And I was like, have you guys told me to buy Madden? And now you guys are telling me, like, nah, fudge out of here, my boy. So I was like, did I waste my money? But I've been playing it, like, a little bit here and there since I've gotten it. And it's a good fucking game. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might still do gameplay. I don't know. Uh, but of course, Fortnite is probably going to be the main focus because a lot of you guys love Fortnite. I mean, a lot of you guys love to hate it, even though it's, I don't know why a lot of people hate Fortnite. It's like the number one game in America. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess people just don't like it. Um, I'm going to try to do more face to face like this. Hopefully, not emotional. <laughs> um,. I don't know about daily vlogs, like these other freaking Jake and Logan Paul kind of destroyed that daily vlog thing. It's kind of trash. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. 
Cool. Oh, and guys, I've been saving for this. Wait, hold on. Let me go to my channel for a sec. I should have been prepared, but hold on. A lot of you guys have been asking, yo, my boy, where the flip is Minecraft? It's like, my boys, I reinstalled it. So, don't worry. Dude, that, I'm just looking at myself in the camera. It's like, I look so retarded. Okay, hold on. The last time I did a mic, okay. Guys, let's actually, let's talk about my four channels that I had since 09. 09, when, you know, Minecraft came out, right? That I did daily Minecraft videos and it would literally get to three to four K each video. And I had about 10 K subscribers. And um, it was pretty lit. Then, for some free, the, the biggest, dude, I mean, obviously, they do glitches, like, through nothing nowadays, but in 2009, there was this huge fucking glitch, and it deleted, like, half of YouTube, the, uh, con like, uh, content creators, deleted my fucking channel by accident, and you, and you see the post on Twitter, and you see the post on Twitter, oh, guys, uh, we, we see the glitch, you know, took some of your channels down, we're gonna get those right back, still haven't gotten it out. And when you search my name, it's no longer a thing. United Baka Gaming. That that was that was the name of my Minecraft channel in 09. Uh, I've had that for a couple of years. Um, and then, you know, that disappeared. And then I did a channel of just random games, not just Minecraft. But I did Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft was a big hit back in the day. And then now, kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, view-wise. View, view -wise, I mean, Minecraft's a good game. But it's like, it causes depression, as you guys can know about my video that I made... A month ago, Minecraft causes depression right here. <laughs> Got pretty good views, I guess. Um, random games, you know, horror games, Mario, all that stuff. And then that, and then that got hacked, so that's pretty cool. I think I had 5K. I was trying to make it past 10K for my last channel. Then that got destroyed. <laughs> um, I think I made that. Ch so the 09 that lasted until like 2010, and then my channel after that reopened it 2010 and that lasted till like maybe 2013 i think and then that just got hacked uh in my main channel that got deleted like two years ago <laughs> um that got that i still don't know the reason for that like i i don't know like isn't youtube supposed to give you like a reason like why they deleted it i never got a reason so that's cool that had like 200 subscribers so we surpassed that Cause we're at 234 now um i was do i was i played minecraft a little bit on that channel and then minecraft just i just stopped playing it and and then i was a commentary channel if you guys don't know what that is. you know leafy's here i'm alex calvos all these great uh content creators um they were you know what picking a video to like talk about and that's what i did and they i got like 1k views like each video but then still don't know why that got taken out. And now we're back to the x X, the channel I am on now. Um, and it's still going. Uh, I've been on this channel for a year. I mean, I've been on it for two years, but I, I deleted some videos. So, I mean, it just said my very first video on this channel was Minecraft. But now, since all those were deleted, let's look at the real first video. It is on... I have like 95 videos, I think, on the show. Okay, kid loses hand making slime. Yeah, I was a big Ellipsy Jimmy fan, and then I was like, "Whoa, dude, I'm gonna clickbait some shit." <laughs> and it got it got uh, 2.5k views. Crazy. And then it starts with uh, Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft in a year. Yeah, that's what it says. It says a year. So, I might be bringing that back, because a lot of you guys have been missing it, and to me, I thought you guys hated Minecraft, and then, and when I was talking about the depression thing, I was talking about, like, survival, like, I mean, the mini games are lit, I heard they got some new ones, haven't played really much since, so we might bring Minecraft back, uh, obviously Fortnite's gonna be a big factor of this channel, and guys, it's the year of the flame, that's gonna be the thing, but... Virtual escape. That's gonna be like the main thing through this year. Uh, gaming is my escape. Shout out to Mick Jagger Nuggets for the series My Virtual Escape. But I'm gonna change that into the gaming escape. <laughs> like I don't know. But um, he liked my tweet when I sent it to him. What my idea was. So I'm guessing it's not a problem. So um, 
yeah, it's it's gonna be lit. Uh, and then we, I tried Warframe, but that didn't work out too well. That only got uh, 62 views. Um, yeah, guys, uh, pretty much Minecraft horror games for into Fortnite. Pretty much, it's pretty much it's gonna be it. And I'm gonna do more Fortnite, Madden, Call of Duty, um, WWE because a lot of you guys wanted that. And I'm going to try to do more face-to-face -face like this, guys. That is my goal. I'm going to start doing face-to-face, -face, maybe like once a week type of thing. And my goal, this time, this this when this video was uploaded, this time, and then next year, I want to have at least 1,000 subscribers. Can we do it? That is my goal. And to do face-to-face -face and then play more video games. I guess I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to try to do vlogs and challenges and stuff like I tried to do like two years ago, but it didn't work out. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it. Twitter, Instagram, Storyfire, link in the description. Keep it lit, keep it frigid, keep it flame. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Damn, this was a 30-minute video. <laughs> That's going to be awesome to watch. But yeah, guys, um, take care. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Goodbye. That, I don't know what that means. That could have been a gang fam. I'm sorry, don't hurt me. Peace.